Snail Crossing. This book is written and illustrated by Corey R. Tabor. One lucky day, Snail was out scooting around when he saw the most beautiful sight. A field of plump, crisp cabbage just across the road. Well, you don't stop me, said Snail to the road. Snail had been traveling for some time when he decided to take a break. Why, I must be nearly there, thought Snail. He was watching the grumbling gray clouds when he felt something coming his way. What it was, Snail couldn't say. Some things are too big and fast for snails to ponder. Well, you won't stop me, said Snail to the thing. Snail was cabbage bound. Nothing could stand in his way. Hey, you, you're standing in our way. We've got a road to cross here, yelled a troop of rowdy ants. And they probably would have carried on like that if it hadn't started to rain. Rain! cried the ants. Help! 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 Cabbage bound or not, Snail couldn't just leave them there. Come in, said Snail. Come in before you drown. Tea? asked Snail. Oh, please. Thank you. That would be lovely, said the ants. Click. We're sorry about earlier. Terribly sorry. Sometimes we get a bit antsy, said the ants. Oh, I know the feeling, said Snail. And he told them all about the plump, crisp cabbage just across the road. Mmm, said the ants. Mmm. When the rain stopped, the ants said, thank you, thank you, thank you, and goodbye. Well, I hope you'll come back soon, said Snail. Count on it, said the ants, and off they went. Now, where was I, said Snail to himself. Ah, yes. Snail was cabbage bound. Nothing could stand in his way. Snail was scooting right along when he noticed something standing in his way. Launch, said the hungry crow. Well, you won't eat me, said Snail. Can't you see I'm cabbage bound? Evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. Honk, honk. And just like that, the hungry crow was gone. Snail was very relieved, but a little dizzy from all that spinning. Cabbage bound, I'm cabbage bound, head in the clouds, foot on the ground. Snail scooted and scooted and scooted and hooray! said Snail. I made it. But where was the cabbage? Well, shoot, said Snail. But what was that on the horizon? Could it be? It was. The cabbage was coming to Snail. Hooray, said Snail. Snail bound, we're snail bound. Thank you, he said to the ants. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then the new friends went inside for cabbage soup and tea. And no one felt antsy at all. The end. Well, our snail, he was determined to get to the other side, 
but it didn't stop him from being kind. And as a result, he earned the friendship of the ants. Those are great lessons for us.